Hey everybody, Rich here. In this video I'm going to show you how you may, it's not a definite, but you might be able to, may be able to convert, so to speak, your microphone port on your laptop to a line in. Some of you may ask why you would want to do this well. Um, the first reason is that you may not have to buy any additional hardware. For example, if I search for on Newegg.com USB audio adapter, actually it guessed it before I was even done typing. There are, let's see if we, what we got here. Yeah, it's headphones. Right, one of these guys, like one of the little $15 guys. Um, you may not need that. It works, and as you can see, it's got it like a 5A grading here, so it's not that this doesn't work, but you might be able to use your existing microphone input. And if you can, you don't have to buy this thing, and you don't have to plug anything in, as in uh, plug any anything additional into the laptop. Now, the laptop I am using right now is an Acer Aspire 1722, and uh, it comes with Windows 7 by default, and here is how to see if your microphone port can act as a line in. First, go down here to the uh, little speaker icon, right click that, and choose recording devices. Now yours may look different here. Now I'm recording this video, so right now I'm using my headset microphone, but you would want to use the one that is built into the laptop. On the uh, Acer Aspire 722, it's, it's connectant uh, high definition audio default device, which just means the microphone port. Highlight that. Now, if you don't see it under recording devices, just uh, right click anywhere and make sure to show disabled devices and show disconnected devices just in case, because it might be hiding. And if it is, that's how you would show it. And make sure you are, excuse me, make sure you are on the recording tab as well. So I highlight this and go to properties and go to listen. Now, what will happen is that if you check off listen to this device, anything plugged into it, any audio that goes through it, will come out of the speakers. If it's unchecked, you will hear nothing. But before you do that, see if you have a levels tab. Now, this may be different depending on your laptop. What you want to do is essentially just turn all the microphone boost off. Sometimes it's just a single checkbox that says AGC, Automatic Gain Control. So you uncheck that if it exists, and if there's any boost level here, turn that down as well. If there's any effects that the microphone has, you want to turn those off. For example, if disable microphone enhancement. Most computers don't have this tab. Uh, the Acer does, but yours probably doesn't. But the important part is advanced. This is what will let you know if you can use your microphone port as a line in or not. If you have an option that says two channel, 16 bit, 44,100 hertz CD quality, you can do it. That means it's two channel, meaning it can do left and right, meaning it can do stereo, meaning it can act as a line in. If on the other hand, all you have is mono, one channel, well, I suppose you could still have it act as a line in, but you won't get the stereo sound. But if you have the two channel, now it is true I could go up a little higher. I mean, I could go up to uh, what's called here studio quality, two channel, 24 bit, 96,000 hertz. Uh, on a laptop, you don't necessarily need to do that. Well, unless you have some really awesome speakers connected to it, you could do that if you wanted to. More often than not, 2 channel, 16 bit, 44,100 hertz CD quality is just fine. And once you do that, have no effects, no gain at all, no additional boost. Because remember, the audio source, your iPod or your digital music player, is already powered. So you don't need to add anything to it. Uh, boost is for unpowered audio sources, such as a uh, non condenser microphone, like the one on the headset like the one I'm using now, as a matter of fact. Um, and make sure that you have listened to this device. Now, as far as where it says play back through this device, what does that mean? Uh, you can choose your speakers on your laptop, but that's probably already what's set as default anyway. And if you want to, you can just go check by going to the playback tab and seeing which one has the green check next to it. And it will say default device. So 
if you've got it, um, let me go back to properties here. Under advanced, if you have the option to do two channel left and right, it'll work as a line in. So you can do it and you will save a little bit of money because then you don't have to buy one of these things to plug into your USB port. And if it so happens that you only have a one channel monophonic, well, now you know what to do. You get one of these guys and uh, they're cheap and it will work. But if you can, try using your microphone as a as a line in because uh, I just found this out on mine because I was so bummed out because uh, I thought, no, oh, I'm going to have to buy one of these and da 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 da. But then, then I uh, researched it and I found out, oh no, I can use my mic port as a line in port as long as I turn the gain down and turn on the two channel CD quality. And it works, it works great. So uh, if you have a laptop, hopefully it will work for you.